Hi, I'm Steve Manning. I'm a BDM for New Farm in the southeastern Murraylands of South Australia. And I'm here today to have a chat to Spiro Popadopoulos from AVL. Um, we're going to have a bit of a talk about New Farm Tri-Base Blue. Uh, Spiro, tell us a bit about yourself first. Uh, my name is um, Spiro. Um, I'm a regional manager for um, Australian Vintage, um, based at um, Charleston in the Adelaide Hills. Um, run the um, Adelaide Hills Vineyards for the company and um, Barossa Vineyards as well. Um, yeah, I've been with the company for the last um, nine years. Um, I'm originally from from Greece, uh, came to Australia to uh, do some further study in viticulture, and yeah, fell in love with Australian wine industry and stayed. So, Spiro, what's your um, experience of New Farm Tribase Blue been like so far? Yeah, now we had um, great experience with um, with the product. Very um, effective, we find, and the challenging conditions in the Adelaide Hills. Um, we have been using it for the last six to seven vintages and um, yeah, we, we're really happy with it. And what is what is the one thing that you really like about the, the product? Uh, being a liquid is um, uh, definitely a, um, a pro for us. Um, easy, to, easy to mix because we have had some issues with um, some dry products in the past um, and we had had no issues with um, dry base. Um, yeah, definitely that. As I said before, um, the efficiency of the product um, and definitely the uh, low copper um, per hectare per application is important for us. Spiro, have you been utilising the, uh, the wider use range on the, on the label? Yeah, for sure. So in um, low pressure years, um, we, we try to go as low as possible, um, but still obviously um, having good cover. Um, and in, in more challenging and wet years, we up the rate. Spiro, when, when using New Farm Tri-Base Blue, did you notice any extended period of protection, even, even at the different rates? Uh, yeah, certainly. Um, and especially um, following a um, more um, systemic downy product, um, we find using Tri-Base, uh, compared to other dry-based coppers, we find that we have extended period of protection, yeah. And, and did you find the liquid formulation easier to use? Yes, absolutely. The um, the operators definitely prefer it <laughs> to the uh, to the powdered uh, products. Um, we have used some of the leading um, powdered products in the past, and we had issues with copper accumulating and in um, the um, fungicide unit lines and causing problems. So, Spiro, just out of interest, what what products have you been mixing with New Farm Tri Base Blue? Yeah, generally we spray um, copper. Um, early in the season and then post flowering. So we, we have been mainly using it with sulfurs like Microthio and other leading brands. Um, but yeah, we, we have um, mixed it post, just after flowering at fruit set with some Botrytis products um, and some um, DMI for Pari. And um, also this year we, we trialled it with um, uh, Intervene. Um, at that sort of pre-Verizon um, time and that worked really well. And, and do you see yourself recommending or, or using Tri-Base Blue uh, for yourself in the future? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's, it's a no-brainer for us. Uh, it's, our, yeah, it's our copper of preference for sure. Ah, thank you very much for your time, Spiro. Excellent, no worries.